Hello dear ones, it's a beautiful sunshiny day here in Los Angeles. And I've been pondering over the question, what is true? It's really an interesting question since we're passing through the fourth dimension, many of us right now, on our way to understanding of the fifth dimension or experience of that. And a lot of the things we sense in the fourth dimension are just not true at all more like products of the mental-emotional state. And um, so, so I've been thinking a lot about what is true. And a, a couple of things that come to me are uh, the Internet. The Internet's really not true, you know. It's a, it, these virtual things like the cell phone, the Internet, television, fax machines, <laughs> handhelds, all those sorts of things. We spend a lot of time on them, but they're really not uh, very close to the truth. Actually, they're a lot closer to 4D, fourth dimension than they are to the fifth dimension, much more so. And then there's a dream state, which seems to be weaving in and out of what we used to call the third dimension or, or reality. And um, that seemed to be so, so malleable, so um, changeable, depending on our, the state of our emotions at the moment. So, uh, in the last few years, I've been dealing a lot with, with Clara audience phenomena. And um, and there's a question about that too. What's true about Claire audience? You know, I was listening to a um, broadcast by Sandra Walter the other day, and uh, she was talking about the new kind of telepathy and the new kind of teleportation. And what she said made a lot of sense, even though I never thought of it before. I I um, urge you to listen to her broadcast. Uh, so everything is changing. What what we used to think was true about Claire audience is no longer. It's not really very true. And telepathy. And um, what we think of as teleportation through the astral realm, she says, is is not the way teleportation is going to be. It's going to be through the high heart. That's more true than anything that happens through the third eye point, she says. And um, so, so in the last months, I've been noticing relative states of truth and gravitating insofar as possible towards greater truth, purer truth, you know? So, um... Lately, what I've been doing, just to give you an example, is I'll get a lot of clear audience input, and it seems to be verging on like the hell worlds, even just very um, nightmare reality stuff that's clearing out of Los Angeles, and out of my obviously also there's it's tagging something in my own subconscious mind, right? So um, when that happens, what I'll do is I'll 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 pick one of my escape routes into truer truth. <laughs> so one of them, what I'm doing right now, and one of my favorites is to go outside, sit out in the sun and absorb the sunlight. It's terrific. It's really true. The sunlight, feeling feeling the warmth on me, feeling looking at the beautiful uh, brightness in the sky and the clouds watching the flowers, smelling the breeze. It's just very, very true to me right now. So um, I bet you have your own ideas about what's true and what's not. And I urge you to explore them. And so I, I can't think of a thing else. I wish you the most pleasant of days and sunshine filled and until we talk again, the very best. <laughs>